Hello everyone. Hope you are well on a Sunday afternoon. Hope you're having a good weekend. We have had a pretty good weekend here. It has been pretty peaceful here. The dog's dead. Good weather. I wanted to uh, correct something that I said in the video yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I said that our gas prices were like 380 whatever, 3 320 uh 319 i meant to say four i guess like somebody said in the comments i can't my brain can't quite comprehend and wrap my head around uh anything above three dollars a gallon and uh i know a, a lot of you guys uh, are, are dealing with much higher prices than that but um right now our gas is about four 420. Uh, I've seen some at 427, um, but it's right around 420 most most everywhere right now. Um, but I wanted to clear that up first. Um, so, but again, I know a lot of you guys are uh, are dealing with with much higher prices than that, five and up, six. I've heard some seven. Uh, dollars uh, a gallon right now. That's crazy. Um, by the way, is it just me or does the internet seem a little slow here lately? I'm in the sun here. Um, I've noticed, and Mrs. Dog has, has said this too, is that the internet seems a little bit slow. Um, I know we're, we're on Comcast here and uh, it just seems lagging not all the time just every now and then and, and it doesn't usually do that so interesting just wondered if, if you guys uh, have noticed the same thing or where you are um and mrs dog and i went out um we have to get out of the house because mrs dog works from home full time and uh she gets some cabin fever we have to go out if nothing else just go out and see some things but we went out this weekend we went to several places we went to Home Depot, we went uh, at home, uh, we went to uh, an outlet mall uh, that is, is an outdoor outlet mall that is typically very crowded and it was a light crowd yesterday. I thought that was interesting. Uh, same was Home Depot. Maybe we just caught it at a, you know, a, a, a slow time, but usually it's packed with a lot more people. Um, now the grocery stores are packed, of course, uh, but I thought that was interesting that uh, Retail seems a little, a little different right now, but uh, Sheriff, you're, you're seeing the same thing. Um, going back to gas, I know people are frustrated, but I think, I don't think it's going down. Um, it's gonna keep going up. Um, I mean, why would it go down? Uh, people are driving out there, you know, the, the roads are still, still pretty packed from what I can see. I see a lot of new vehicles. I see, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen so many full-size trucks out there. Uh, not that I'm got anything against it, but uh, I don't know how they do it. Um, and I know they're guzzling gas. There's a, there's a new one in our neighborhood here that drives up and down this road. And I mean, a bunch of times a day, still got the dealer tag on it. And I think I'll wear that poor truck out before they, before they get the permanent tag. But uh, I know they're eating up gas like crazy. I can't imagine what it costs to fill up full-size pickup truck right now. Not to mention what they cost right now. And a lot of them have these dealer markups. Um, I'm hearing people paying 70 to 80 grand for a truck. Really? I mean, hey. If you've got the means and you want it, more power to you, okay? I mean, seriously. But in dog world, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> Ain't happening. Not nearly in my budget or our budget. Now, I have a medium-sized uh, truck, and uh, it's it, it does what I needed to do. Um, it's nice, but uh, I paid a fraction of what these things are going for, this 80000 That's crazy. Anyway, not to mention the gas they guzzle. 
but uh, but again, the gas the gas is not going down. It's going to keep going up and up. Um, I saw an article earlier that said that the Chevron CEO said that he don't doesn't think that there will be there will be no more oil refineries built in the United States ever. What does that tell you? Um, that's my dog you hear back there. Anyway, um, but I believe that, and like kind of like what I said yesterday, um, I think it's their intention to restrict our mobility. They want to restrict our movement. They don't want you to be able to go anywhere. And then I hear people say, well, dog, it's all about the electrics. It's going to be the EVs, you know. Uh, and that may be, you know, I think that's that's where they're trying to go with it, yes. Um, there is a huge, and I mentioned this before, there's a huge <clears throat> battery plant or plant, manufacturing plant. They're still building this monstrosity not too far from where we live. If you stand next to that building, it just keeps going. You look down the, down the side of this thing, it's, it's huge. You should see this thing. And that's all they do there is they manufacture uh, batteries for electric vehicles. But still, how, if you think about it, how is everybody going to drive an electric car and have enough electricity when you have rolling power outages in Texas today, from what I hear, and we're already struggling with electricity right now, with demand? I mean, get real. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. I believe their intention is not for you to go electric to drive an electric vehicle. Their intention is for you not to drive a vehicle at all, to not be able to go anywhere, or just for a limited, you know, very limited uh, distance, range. That's what I believe. That's, that's just my thoughts. Um, they don't want you to go. They want to restrict your movement so they can control you better. They want to push us into the cities, stack us on top of each other, like they do in the other places, a lot of places in the world, tax the crap out of us even more. And the rich the elites will have their electric vehicles. They'll pay through the nose for it and they'll get taxed on top of it, I'm sure. Healthy. But we're not in that club, for sure. I don't want to be. Um, but anyway, that's my, that's my thoughts on that. But... Uh, no matter what, no matter what, no matter if it's gas, electric, God is still on the throne. That doesn't change. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And uh, it never will. So we can rest assured in that. That is, that is truth. Um, should be a little bit to see. You hear the birds? You hear those birds? verse for today is Acts. I oh, know, I didn't do a verse yesterday. Sorry. Verse for today is Acts. Chapter 1, verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Amen. Let's continue to be his witness. When times are good, when times are bad, even if times get really, really bad, even in an SHTF, we're gonna be his witnesses to the best of our ability, best we're able to. That's my thoughts today. Share your thoughts. Take care out there. God bless you. See you soon.